Okay, so today I am going to be showing on how I fixed my flashback from my visor light. If y'all are experiencing a lot of flashback on a dash from your visor light, maybe it's not the right visor light or it's uh, just going through too much and it's blinding at night. So I'm going to show y'all how I went ahead and corrected that issue. <clears throat> so I went and bought this Gorilla mounting tape, double-sided. If you could find a single-sided one, it would be better, but I couldn't find it, so I'm using a double-sided. This is what it looks like. It's pretty thick. And so I'm going to be using one side. The other side I'm going to be spraying with this uh, type of flex seal type thing. And uh, it's a... This is just a rubberized, like Flex Seal. And uh, I think it's just a cheaper brand. Works just as good. It gives it like a uh, textured coating because you're gonna have one, both sides are sticky. So take and measure your visor light and you're gonna cut your strip to however length it is. And so remember both sides are sticky. So you're gonna make one side not sticky. So, because this side here is going to be the one you want touching the windshield and the visor light. And I'll show you all that later. But we can get ready to go paint this. Okay, once you get outside or wherever you like to paint at, you're going to take the sticky side that's exposed, not the one with the seal still on it. You want to leave that on it. You want to take the, the part that's exposed. You want to take this seal this rubber seal and we're just gonna spray it take it up and we're gonna go I'm just gonna spray it on it's gonna make it even even coat after You just keep spraying it you let it dry keep spraying it let it dry until it covers all the stickiness because you don't want no flies getting stuck on it or whatever because it's going to be in your vehicle so i'm gonna cut y'all on when i'm finished okay once all that's dried and ready you can come out to your vehicle and i already did this one but all you got to do is peel the seal off the other side and start on the inside it's easiest i found to do it start on the inside put your straight edge on that one and then just press it on up all the way all the way across but you need to have at least a quarter inch of of that tape on the visor light itself to be able to have it stick on there and then the rest of it can go on the windshield because it's going to make up for that gap and then you just push it on the on the windshield all the way across. And when you get to the end over here, I took my razor knife and I just I cut it, kind of rounded it, make it look a little nice, so that way the side views not coming out on the on the pillar right here. So I can turn the light on. I'm gonna switch down here and show. See the lights are on, and there's no flashback on my fingers. This is a white light, so you should be able to see. Now when I pass it, you see the flashback here? That's on the side. That's coming That's coming out the side right here. That's not really an issue because it's not going on a dash. The one that was giving me an issue was on the bottom and there's no flashback whatsoever. All the way around. So that's how to fix that. Don't mind the cardboard. I'm working on a... Um, housing for my visor light that I, I mean I'm, I'm a visor light my dash light that I constructed so made this dash light of two wheeler modules wheel and inner edge modules and um it was too it was too low as I discussed in my, my previous video it kept hitting right here so you couldn't see it so I had to raise it up with these things so now there's a lot of flashback from that 
So to prevent that, I gotta make my own housing for it. And this is gonna be in the other, my next video. And I just made a template and then I bought a sheet of plastic, a 1 inch thick sheet of plastic. And I'm gonna be cutting the template out on the plastic. That'll be on my next video. Hope y'all can watch it. All right, thank y'all for watching.